it's great to have a new website, but it doesn't do you much good if no one knows how to find it. To solve this problem, you're going to have to do some reverse engineering and ask yourself, if you were going to find a website, how would you probably go about it? You'd probably do a Google search. That Being that Google is the most popular search engine on the internet, it's probably what you're going to be using. So the best method about to go about making sure that your website is visible online is to first let Google know that you exist. There's a couple of ways, a couple of things that we're going to need to be able to do to tell Google that your website exists, and we're going to go over those today. Hey, I'm Brian with the Bound Web Design with another Squarespace tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about how to connect your website to Google Search Console and then get your whole website indexed or individual pages indexed on Google. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do to kind of to get this all sorted is that we're going to want to go into uh, the back end of our website here. You're going to go into your analytics and you're going to head over to search keywords. So this is just a, a demo website. So there's there's not any traffic right now. It's not not even published. So that's why you're seeing that. So all you're going to do is go to search keywords and then you'll see here. Verify your site with Google Search Console to learn which search keywords are driving traffic to your site and how to optimize your site's performance and search results. And so you'll hit connect and it will ask you for the account that you want to attach to it. You'll hit continue a couple times. And then you'll see here it says it's going to take up to 72 hours for this to be connected. And it, said it may take up to 72 hours to index your data. Check back here to view your top SEO keywords. So we can go over to a website that has already been uh, connected to Google Search Console, and you'll see what you would see here in this instance. So all the keywords that, like the top words that get searched to find you, and then this can help with trying to, you know, gear your website more towards what people are searching for when they find you. You can use that to your advantage. So um, talking about getting your site indexed now, like that's the first part of connecting Google Search Console will be the first part of, of that. The next thing that you're going to want to do is head over to Google Search Console. And so I've done a Google search here of Google Search Console, and you see it's the top thing here. And so you go ahead and we can click Start Now. And it already has me. I'm, I'm logged into Chrome, so it it might have you try to sign in and put your email password or whatever or connect through your Google account. But the first thing that you're going to want to do, so this has got, it's using my Abound web design page is what it's on right now. But you would want to go into sitemaps. This is to index your entire site. Go into sitemaps and then you have your URL there. And then all you're going to do after that forward slash is Enter in sitemap.xml and then submit. Um, you can see mine was already submitted back in November of 2023, so a year ago. Anyhow, that was the most recent time. Most likely last, last time it was read is November 4th of this year. So let's say we submit and it was submitted successfully. Okay, then the other thing that you would want to do is if you let's say you write blogs and you write a new blog, blog make a new blog post and so you wanted to get it indexed well you can you can force the issue on that as well so i'm going to go to my most recent blog post and we will okay so i will just pull up one any of these and then I'm going to copy that URL and then I'm going to go back over here to Google Search Console and I'm going to go to URL Inspection. All right, and up here in the inspector window or the you will just paste that URL, hit enter. And you can see that it is already on Google here. It's been indexed. If it wasn't then I could test the live URL and this takes a second so okay and so 
then now it says it's available to Google and then you could just request indexing and it says it's requested submitting it multiple times we're going to change his position in the queue so you just do it one time and they'll get to it eventually it usually takes a day maybe two days and then you will know that your uh, that page is uh, indexed and like here you can come back to this and check and see that it's that it's been indexed anyhow that's all that there is to it if you found that useful please leave a like and subscribe for more squarespace tutorials like this one and if you'd like me to build your website for you you can find my information in the description below.